Well, here we go, folks. Uh, I'll be on a table in about another another two hours. So uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just thanks everybody for your support, and uh, and we'll see you in a few days. Um, and I hope everything goes well. Well, that's the way it goes. So, all right, guys. Metro Health. Right. Which way do we go? Um, good morning. I got surgery this morning. I'm supposed to go to L, elevator L, second floor. L? You yes. don't have an L. It's a uh, cardiac. Well, I'm having a bifemoral bypass. Uh, F elevators? F elevator? Yeah. Okay. Um, elevator. It's on this floor, actually. You're already on the first floor. From here, just follow the signs to the F elevators. Okay. And it'll take you directly to the surgical waiting area. Okay, thanks. Okay, here at the surgical waiting area. Okay, so who knows? Let's see what happens in the surgery room here. Well, here I am, ready to go. Ready to go. That's what we have here. Alright. Hey, good morning, guys. Just woke up from my surgery. I feel like a train ran over me. I slept like about a half hour. The last 24. Well, actually, it's, uh, looks like 4 o'clock now. And, uh, oh, this is awful. Totally awful. Alright, I'll see you guys later. It was, uh, it was dark in here. But... Well, guys, had my surgery here yesterday. And it's been, uh, 18 hours. I got a recovery about six hours ago. And, uh, everything on my body hurts. Everything. And it hurts real bad. And um, I'll get back with you guys a little bit later when it's more light. All right, bye-bye. Okay, guys, this is about a couple minutes out of recovery. Well, no, I slept the night for like four hours. I was up all night. They gave me epidural, it didn't take. And uh, of course I got this nose tube here. So I can't drink anything. So it sucks it right back up. You get rid of fluids. And um, just feel like really bad. Really, really bad. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. One more test on you today. Holy mackerel, man. Look at the dry. Look at the, oh, the cat draw again, the man. Look at the fucking cat drag <laughs> down. Oh. Look at a picture of me I'm vlogging this thing. Oh. You can stay back a little ways. Yeah, uh, yep, so here I am. I'm the drip. And the drips doesn't seem to be working out too well. Ooh, you're really close to me. Gotta love morphine. Oh boy. So, anyways, so that's the deal. You know, good care, and the girl's been really good here. Okay. And uh, it's just painful. It's just so unbelievably painful. I didn't expect it to be. Yeah. It's painful. That was just painful. I probably wouldn't have done it. You know, so. Right, you had to do something with it. Yeah. I don't know so. where the off switch is on that. It oh, so well, this hurt like hell. They got me up out of a seat. Got me up out of a bed into the seat. And, um, excruciating pain. They cut me down from my chest, all the way down to my groin, all the way down to my knees and uh, put that artificial vein in there and uh, they're giving me the morphine drip which is pretty cool but uh, it really is not working that good and uh, everybody here I'm a Metro General everybody here has been so wonderful um, you wouldn't believe it 
and uh, this is just a little little view of my room. No big deal, but uh, this is going to be a long, long recovery. I didn't realize what an extensive surgeon this was, extensive surgery that this was. Um, they totally removed all my bowels and reset them and got the aortic thing and bypassed it. And like I say, I haven't seen anything on YouTube about this and what to expect, but I can tell you right now, um, I'm going to be out at least a week to 10 days um, just trying to be able to crawl around. It's that painful. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'm looking forward to getting back on the floor and playing some guitar. It might take me a while as I'll be rusty, but I'll we'll get back there. So, all right, you guys have a good day, and I'll let you know up the other up, updated things as they go along. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, folks, so here I am, day three, and I'm still sitting in the chair. I'm in a lot of pain. This is a um, pretty extensive surgery, so um, I'm going to say still on Oxycontin, and uh, still have a lot of pain, even after taking those. So, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye. This is a fine lunch. You know what it is yet. Ginger ale, some jello, juice box, smart broth. Morning folks. Just wanted to show you my scar. Not show anything x rated. Got this. I got the scar going all the way down my leg. And it hurts. What's up, man? How you doing, man? What's up? He's dinging. Okay, folks, here I am. I'm sitting in the chair again. I got my hat on, so it keeps my hairdo down. But, anyways, uh. Just, uh, they want to get me up again, and they want to get me walking here pretty soon within the next few days. And, uh, they don't want to overdo it because of the grafts that they put in. And, uh, I think I might have the beginning of pneumonia, which is not real good. And, uh, so anyway, it's just a little quick blurb. It's Friday. I can't believe it's Friday already. It's, uh, about quarter after 12, uh, p.m. And, uh, that's about it, so... Here's my office, sir. All this junk here. So anyways, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. There we go. Now I'm recording. There's my mom, visitors in the hospital. It's Friday, March 22nd. There's my dad. There's my lunch. First meal. First meal. Since I have my surgery. Hard foods. That was better. It's refreshed this drink of water. There's me. So, you guys have a good day? And we'll see you later. Okay, good morning, I guess. Today is Saturday, I think. 23rd. And uh, here's my wonderful breakfast. I have no idea what the hell that is. So, anyways, you're going to uh, pull my catheter out today. Which uh, I'm sure will be fun. And uh, still got a lot of pain. Can't hardly walk. And just getting up you know, from the chair, I, I need assistance. But, anyways, I'll let you guys know how everything goes later on. We'll see ya. Thanks. Bye. Okay, folks, uh, this is Saturday at 1 10 p.m. This is what I look like. Just getting a little bit better every day. Still can't move. Can't walk. Got to have assistance going from the chair to the, to the bed and all that stuff. But uh, pretty pretty nasty. All right. Okay, folks. Today is Sunday. And um, walking around a little bit. And it's not because of the 
physical therapy people, physical therapy people, she only came that one time and last four times to see me. The only thing they did was help me walk to the bathroom back. And I haven't seen them around in the last couple of days, so. so I'm walking by myself and uh, doing that thing. But uh, still feeling kind of kind of fun funky. And uh, like I said, the gal said, I think about sending me home today. That's on a Sunday. I never heard anybody get sent home on a Sunday. Probably more or less like Monday. But this is the new room, step down room. Here we go. You guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, guys, here I am back. This is, uh, just got back home yesterday, late in the afternoon. Uh, thanks for Pat and Carol picking me up. And, uh, just totally wore out yesterday. I think, um, the pain that I had was, uh, in the hospital, I'm getting the, the medicines and, you know, they used to go on, go on the way home and uh, get your scripts filled. Well, I was so much in pain and so tired, I figured I'd get them the next day, but I shouldn't have. I should have waited. I should have actually gotten them yesterday. And um, this is my scar. goes down here. goes down here. And then it goes down on the sides. And... The, the my whole ball area they had to rearrange, take it out because they had to get get back to the aorta. And uh, they, I was talking to one of the vascular surgeons at the hospital, and they said this is one of the most um, intense vascular surgeries that they do. And what they don't tell you is that the, the amount of pain is just ridiculous. Uh, so they had me on pain pills. And uh, I can just, um, I, can, I can walk up and down the stairs, but I gotta take a break. And uh, I can't lift anything more than five pounds. And, uh, and it's good to be home. But I'll tell you what, if I would have known how bad this thing would have been, I really don't know if I would have went through it. But uh, I got a lot of friends to thank that. I owe a huge, amount of gratitude to it kind of helped me get through all this and uh, like I said there's nobody that has anything on YouTube on this and that hopefully this will uh, let some people understand what exactly I go through um, what they actually do is they glued my suture and I just took the packing off yesterday and um, it was like about a, I was there exactly a week and uh, then they're like, okay, you're ready to get out. And I could hardly move. So I still could hardly move. I imagine it's going to be about a couple weeks before I can. So this is it. I hope I uh, helped you guys out. And uh, anybody going through this. And um, um, maybe I'll make an update video in a couple months, let you know how I'm doing. Apparently, you know, um, I should be doing a lot better, I hope. All right, thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.